food does not originate on their on the shelf. Um, that it has to come from somewhere, and it could be you know produce, uh, grains, it could be meat, but all those start somewhere on a farm or ranch. It's all about ag biosecurity. And our mission is to promote awareness of many different issues surrounding agricultural biosecurity. And what agricultural biosecurity can be boiled down to mean is ag is roughly food related and security is roughly health protection or protection of life. Everything that we do at NABC, you know, basically uh, is to try and prepare for what can happen and to collaborate. Most of the uh, work that we do has been historically with Department of Defense, Homeland Security, United States Department of Agriculture, supporting programs that uh, deal with livestock diseases, foreign animal disease outbreaks, or uh, livestock emergency response. Animal disease response training, or ADRT, is a one-day, eight-hour training curriculum that we have used nationwide uh, to train what's called non-traditional ag first responders. Uh, we have traditional non-traditional responders sitting next to each other. A lot of cases they may not have talked to each other before or worked together and so this is an opportunity for them to, to see who might be working the event uh, alongside them. You know you think of all hazards, you think of hurricane response, flood response, fire response, a high consequence animal disease outbreak brings in the whole community and they will have a role in animal disease response and their community will be impacted. The National Livestock Readiness Program or NLRP is one of NABC's main projects. What the NLRP does is a lot of the back office or legwork to K-State being the Silicon Valley of biodefense. It's in recognition by DHS of seeing that K-State is the center of a lot of activity in the biodefense realm. The technical information reporting guides or TIRGs basically are, are quick studies on high consequence animal disease. These are more specifically for foreign countries where these diseases are normally found and so in order for them to go in and be able to communicate to gain credibility with their knowledge of the disease they can utilize the TIRGs for a quick study. For the average person to be able to recognize the disease and then also to be able to gather enough information so that when you did recognize that disease and, and brought back information, it was usable uh, as we're looking at the overall picture disease-wise in a country. All of the work that's being done at the federal level, the state level, local levels to prepare for uh, the outbreak of a foreign animal disease and, and how that really is going to impact our daily lives.